What's going on guys, it's Coolcraft567 and today we're giving you guys a video review of my plate carrier setup. Uh, I posted a couple of weeks back what video you guys wanted to see and overwhelmingly you guys said uh, plate carrier in a video and I was actually kind of surprised by that. But uh, this is what you guys want to see and I'm kind of eager to show this plate carrier because I haven't really uh, touched up too much on this. This I picked up I think around J January and I've been running it since and I actually really do like this. I tend not to keep a plate carrier for a long time, but I can definitely see myself having this plate carrier for a while now, just because, um, I don't know, I, I kind of not, I don't really tend to now switch up as much as I used to, but uh, I really do enjoy this. So if you can't tell, this is the first beer Strandhog and Multicam. Um, this is the newer Strandhog, so with that being said, the cummerbunds are a little bit different, and that's just about it, but besides that, it's kind of the same Strandhog that a lot of you guys know and uh love so let's get into the uh, overview all right so starting off the way i have this set up is not always the way i'll run it uh for instance i have training plates in this uh those won't always be tend to be ran especially for longer games those are just more for you know short games to kind of just practice with them um again there's pyro on this play carry right now i wouldn't really run those where pyro isn't permitted and that's just kind of i just wanted to put everything on just to kind of show you guys uh, how I could outfit this plate carrier, but this is going to be pretty much the way I'm going to run it So that being said all the pouches do tend to stay on just what tends to be inside the plate bags And what tends to be inside the pouches does tend to vary a bit So starting off here in the front I don't have an admin panel because I don't really think I, I need one to be honest I don't really need a patch there as well. So I didn't decide to get the uh, Velcro uh, Admin panel just because I don't really feel I need it um, what I am running is a Blue Force Gear triple shingle. This is the Helium Whisper triple shingle. Um, that being there, it's really easy uh, to pull mags out. Uh, it's a little difficult to put mags back in. That's why I tend to run a dump pouch. I'm not a fan of putting mags back into the mag pouch. I like to just put them. Um, I like just to use them, and then if I have to, just put them in the dump pouch. Uh, here, I have the mag situated for a uh, left hand reload. That means I will be uh, having my gun on my right shoulder and then inserting it with my left hand. So that's just there uh, These tend to get worn out a little bit. These were a lot nicer looking when I first got them But uh, just from use putting the mags in and out uh, going prone They do tend to get beat up a little bit, but they still work um, Even you can see that some of the Threads are missing in there. They still tend to work and I've seen some of these in even worse condition than this But I know for a fact it's gonna work uh, going into the Strandhog's unique uh, mounting system. I'm a big fan of this. Uh, here you can see these four uh, paracord, uh, paracord uh, tabs right here. And this is how you put on and take off the plate carrier. Uh, it's almost like a quick release system just because of how convenient it is. And one of the things that I really do like about this is that your um, cummerbunds always go back to the same spot. Because sometimes you might... Uh, put the cummerbund a little too loose and uh, it might kind of mess you up a little bit But this will always retain the same position just because of how the system works. It's real simple You just pull out and then down And it comes out just like that. It's easy to go back in just clip it down like that and you're locked in um, Again, these are some of the most reliable clips uh, You could see videos of people just destroying these things and they don't tend to break So I'm not worried about anything happening to that Alright, so now we're going to go into the right side cover button, and I just want to get my biggest gripe with this play care out the way real quick. Uh, so if you go over here to this tube system, you can see uh, there's no molly right there, obviously. Now, uh, somebody did come out with a product that's going to cover that, and it's going to give you two rows of molly back. Uh, unfortunately, that's in a GoFundMe stage, if I'm correct. I don't even know the name of the product, but I'm so used to kind of how the placement on this is that I won't even pretty much consider even buying it because uh, you get used to kind of how you have to work around that and it's not really too much of an issue um, but again some people might care about that more than others I know some people have said they wouldn't even consider purchasing that this play carry just because of those tubes which is a really dumb idea because you're gonna miss out on such a good play carry but let's get into the cummerbund so right here we have the first beer uh, 10 speed. This is just going to be the single M4 pouch right there. Again, this is going to be for my right hand reload. Now, this is going to mean that if my gun's on the left shoulder, 
Um, I'm going to be able to reload this really quick with my right hand. Um, I tend to only have one right hand reload because uh, you don't really transition as much as you think. And when you do, the amount of time that you're going to have to reload is not going to be as much as when you're going to be shooting off your strong side. Uh, again, this is a blue force gear, so it's kind of faded, but it still gets the job done. And I'm just a big fan of that. Uh, right here, we have a, a uh, Eagle Industries uh, smoke grenade pouch. And, you know, sometimes I put a R2B in there, but unfortunately right now I do not have any R2Bs. Um, so I just put a Thunder B for the video purposes. But this can pretty much fit whatever I need. Uh, even an additional mag if need be. Uh, smoke grenades, things of that nature. Uh, I like the R2Bs just because they have a, they're a little bit more louder than what's in here. And people tend to call R2Bs just because of um, kind of the blast that they produce as opposed to what's in here but uh in here the, this is an eagle industries 100 round uh saw pouch or a nutsack pouch as people tend to call them uh in here i have three enola gay uh like these are like pea grenades uh i tend to uh throw these cqb situations these are better for that than as opposed to outdoors um again if i'm going to be playing uh indoors where these aren't going to be allowed i won't even tend to run this so this pouch will tend to stay empty sometimes and when it is empty it doesn't really weigh too much and it could just be kind of pushed in a lot of the air will come out and that stay pretty compressed to the body right there uh, like I said this is the newer gen uh, strand hawk so with that being said they don't give you the padded cummerbund as opposed to the older models you do get the padded plate bags and shoulder pads but you don't get a padded cummerbund now you get a new cummerbund that actually opens up for side plates and in here I'm running side plates and again these are just going to be more for training if I'm going to be uh, going like a um, shorter game I tend to run the training plates and the side plates just to kind of get a little bit of practice in with those but for longer games I will just remove the plates. Um, now these came with the plate pockets and it's pretty nice because you can actually just remove these fairly simple you don't have to worry about them. Um, uh, you don't have to unmolly them. You can just simply open this up, undo, undo the Velcro, and take the plates out. So if I do decide to run them or not to run them, they're fairly simple to take on and off. So if you know how I run my plate carriers, I do tend to keep a simple setup of three mags in the front, one on the right, and then a GP pouch uh, to store pretty much whatever I need. Uh, most of the times, this just tends to be uh, camera batteries, uh, whatever else I decide that I need for the day right there. Um, I tend to keep tool. I used to keep tools, but now I just bought a multi-tool and that just goes in the pocket. I don't have to worry about that. Um, if I have to keep my wallet, uh, car keys, whatever, it's probably going to go in here as opposed to the admin pouch that used to be on most plate carriers, but that's not going to really be an issue since this is going to be a little bit more secure. I'm not going to have to worry about uh, anything coming undone there. Uh, going over here to the side, here we have just a carabiner right there if I have to attach anything. Uh, I could attach my helmet, gloves, whatever I need right there. I don't have to worry about it. Uh, here we have a cat tourniquet with a Blue Force Gear tourniquet now pouch. Uh, there's not too much to say about that. I'm going to be completely honest. This will probably never get used. This is just more for looks. Um, that being said, here we have a, I believe this is a tier tactical uh, M4 pouch. I have two additional mags. This will tend to stay empty except for longer games where I do need the additional ammo. So that will be filled up. Uh, going over here, we have a tier tactical IFAC right there. Uh, this is a simple to open. Uh, I do have some stuff in here actually. I have some stuff that is not sterilized. So I probably won't even ever use that. Again, this is just more for looks. Plus, I am not a licensed uh, EMT, so I wouldn't even risk using that on anybody. Uh, so that's it for the right side cummerbund. Uh, one last thing I wanted to show is, again, side plate right there. And that's it for the cummerbund on this side. So going over to the back, uh, I pretty much kept it simple. Uh, I know what I needed for a back panel setup. I didn't need anything crazy. So I went ahead and I went with the Haley Strategic Flat Pack. Now, uh, I do tend to run my hydration in the rear plate bag by putting it in my ice plate. But um, just to have something there, uh, in case I need to carry anything in the back panel setup, I could just use this. This is going to be the, again, Haley Strategic Flat Pack and Multicam Black. I'm a huge fan of Multicam Black. There's not a lot of uh, stuff made in that color. 
But uh, until now, uh, this would be my, I think, sixth fat, uh, flat pack that I had. Uh, it's really easy in case you don't know anything about the flat pack. Um, you have zippers here on the bottom that you can undo. And this thing, I believe, doubles in size. So if you need it to store anything, those on the larger side, you can just do that fairly easy. Now what I tend to do is open this all the way up, put whatever I need to, and then do the zippers on it on the bottom. And that tends to give me a really good seal on whatever I'm carrying. I'm not going to have to worry about that really flopping around. So whatever need you need be, this thing will hold it. I'm a big fan of the Haley Flat Packs just because I've been running them for so many years. Um, I've had these in every color they had available. Uh, I think except black, but pretty much on any play carrier that I wanted to go with, these things end up on the back of them. Guys, so that's my play carrier setup. Uh, if you watched any of my old play carrier videos, I've kind of been running the same setup, you know, with the mags in the front, one here on the right, and then a GP pouch. So this has just kind of been the same setup that works for me. I don't really see a need to change it because nothing's kind of really challenged this setup. This is what I feel most comfortable. This is what I find works the best for me. Hopefully, you know, if you guys want to try a setup like this for yourself, you can go ahead and try that out. And maybe you get some results uh, similar to what I've done with this play carrier. Uh, any questions or comments, leave them down below. And uh, thank you guys for watching.